Dad would be sitting in his easy chair after a long day of work and Mom would sit next to him and they'd watch TV while she quilted. I could lean back and watch her left hand guiding the needle that moved in and out of the fabric. I never got tired of seeing the glint of that needle. One of my favorite quilts was a little farmer boy and sunbonnet Sue with tiny little hankies applicated into the farmer boy's pocket and flowers embroidered onto Sue's bonnet. I would lie in bed and listen to mom and dad talking while I traced the stitches with my fingers as I fell asleep. That was sanctuary and comfort. So I'd like to introduce John and Charlene Ford that are going to tell us some stories about their ranching life. Let's welcome them. Uh, when we we leased uh, various ranches around and the kids all had one or two horses they could ride and and I think that's why Larney and Will decided they'd do something else because they didn't like the the early morning <clears throat> getting up early in the morning or driving half a day to pick up and train on some horses or sleeping with dogs or whatever there was a gate there and I think Amy was I don't know she couldn't have been very old but she was on snowball no she was on I don't know snowball or leather britches and she couldn't hardly <clears throat> hold the reins up, but <clears throat> we went through the gate and the horse put his head down to eat something and just pulled Amy off and Hank laughed and Will got mad at Hank because he, he said, well, that's not very nice, Hank. But, but you know, if you stop and think about it, it's kind of simple. You, you look at the older people here and even some of the younger people, can, you, I know you can remember when there was butcher shops in every, every town. There are no butcher shops anymore, and it's the, it's the reaction that you, you develop with your customers. So, so I'd like to introduce uh, Pe Peggy Hebert and, uh, from the Rock Tree Valley Ranch, or Rock Tree Ranch. So um, everybody has a different experience on their ranch, and so we wanted Peggy to come and share her experience. So thank you very much for Peggy, being here. Peggy. In the wintertime, Tom Kai Creek is flooded over, so you can't have any through traffic. So it's just the people who live there, so very little traffic. And um, lots of turkeys, deer, few bear. Once in a while the mountain lion comes through and coyotes. <laughs> it has this wonderful, wonderful old barn on it that was built probably in the 1860s, 1880s by Fred Bond and his brothers. And it was used as the um, old stage stop for the Will, uh, Covalo to Willetsville, which was the name of Willets at the time, uh, stage stop, and then right across the street from us on Reed Davidson's property is the old forge, and it still actually has the old forge inside the building. So when we first got the property, before I could have my house, we had to restore the barn, the precious barn. <laughs> so my husband spent a year on the barn, and we, one side had completely started to cave in and fall down. So we numbered all the boards, took them down, and the inside of the barn is the old hand-hewn beams, really big, big beams, probably eight by eight or more. And then the whole barn is notched and pegged together like an erector set. And then all of the beams going across the top are small trees that they used. Well, these guys were there two nights, and they're in the field by the road, and some kid comes down the canyon with a boom box. <laughs> and a bunch of the cows, steers, were in the barn. They all hit the door at the same time and busted those big, the, they weren't the main beams, but they were, what was, let me say, they were six by eight beams, just snapped them off, because they all hit at the same time and then went through the fence in two places. Fortunately, they were interior fences, so they didn't get off the property. So <laughs> you always have something with a cow or a steer. Thank you.
a bad guy. If he wasn't a bad guy, I wouldn't have done that to him. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Shot too? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Below the belt. Oh my gosh! It looks like, it looks like it was below the belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the jewels. <laughs> 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 <laughs>